Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing how you can update your Moto X 2014 Pure Edition to Android 5.1 Lollipop. Now this is an official update and you will get future over the air updates as well. You do need to be completely stock and have stock recovery to install this update. So if you're rooted, have twerp recovery, you might just want to wait for a rooted ROM to be posted. Anyways, this is coming from Android 5.0, so go ahead and go into settings, go to about phone, you'll see Android version 5.0. Now check your system version, because this is coming from 22.21.11, and you'll see the build number right down there, and then this is going to be an update to 5.1. All right, so anyways, first step would be to download the update zip file. I will post a download link in the description. I recommend downloading it on a PC, and then we're gonna to need to transfer it over to your phone. That's my recommendation. I wouldn't recommend downloading it from your phone. You could do that if you want. Um, I would just It's just my recommendation to do it on your PC and then transfer it over to your phone. All right, so I just transferred it over to my device. Like I said, download it on your PC, just transfer it over to the root of the uh, internal storage of your device, and then you're gonna to need to power it on off. I do want to make a note that this is not going to wipe any data, so you don't have to worry about that. The first boot up is probably going to take a little bit longer than usual, and I recommend having over 50% battery as well. All right, and once your device is fully powered off, what I want you to do is press and hold volume down and the power button at the same time. Press and hold it for about four, three, four seconds, and then go ahead and just let go of both of them at the same time, and it's going to take you to this fast boot screen right here. Now, to navigate through, you use volume down to scroll through and volume up to select. So press volume down once where it says highlights recovery and press volume up to select it. Your bootloader, uh, you don't, this screen might pop up if your bootloader is unlocked. It does not need to be unlocked. You could be completely stock or you could have your bootloader unlocked. Either one, the only thing that matters is that you have stock recovery and aren't rooted. Um, that's, it doesn't matter if your bootloader is unlocked or not. All right, so this screen is gonna pop up. No command, uh, no big deal. Um, all you have to do is in this order just press press the power button and then just press the volume up button real quick and just let go of both of them and then it will take you into our stock recovery so here we go you'll see right here android system recovery what i want you to do is just press volume down just once apply update from sd card and then press the power button to select it now you're going to want to just find that ota zip that we transferred over you'll see mine's right up at the top and then just go ahead and hit select and press the power button to select it and then down at the bottom here, you'll see um, it's going to go ahead and open the package, verify it. If it fails and you are completely stocked, you might want to try re-downloading the file. The file might have just become corrupt when you were downloading it. All right, but anyways, installing update, verifying current system, all that stuff. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time, I'm sure. I think it was about a 300 meg, meg, megabyte file. So just uh, give it some time. I'll be back, kind of let you know how long you're going to have to wait for it to install. All right, so it ran through. Uh, it took over five minutes, it almost took six minutes, about five and a half minutes to install this update. So just be patient with it. Install from SD card complete, and then this will pop up back to recovery. And all we have to do is reboot system and we're good to go. So press the power button, reboot system now. Again, you might not see this bootloader screen that's about to pop up uh, if your bootloader is not unlocked. So don't worry about that. But anyways, um, I'm gonna let it boot up. This boot up's gonna take longer than usual. You'll probably see system as upgrading screen. And then I'll be back once it does boot up. All right, so my phone has booted back up. It did take a little bit of time, uh, but we should be on 5.1 now. So one thing I noticed right away is uh, the no SIM card slot is actually a little bit different. Before it was just status bars, uh, signal bars without any coverage at all. So let's go ahead and go into settings, go to about phone, and show you guys that we're on 5.1. There we go. So you'll see Android version 5.1 right there. Uh, and that would be it. So that's how you update your phone. Like I said, this is from Motorola. You will get future over the air updates. And I will do a full review on 5.1. I actually have a full review on 5.1, but if I notice any differences between the Moto X, I'll post a link to the review video in the description. Um, but that's it. Be sure to subscribe to me. Hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, that'd be great. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. And thanks for watching.